Okay guys, if you have been finding it difficult using the High Translate or High Dictionary which I've previously did a video in my channel on how you can use it to translate the 1688 app or the Pindodo or any of the other Chinese platforms which you use to import. In this video, I'm going to be showing you another option or another app which you can use flawlessly to do your translation without issues. So if you're just coming across my channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you always get notified each time I drop a new video. Don't forget to also like this video if you found value from this video and don't forget to share. If you have issues, please make use of the comment section and i'll do well to reply all right without wasting much of your time let's dive in, into the video so all you need to do if you're an android user head over to your google play store so in your google play store you're going to type okay you're going to type um screen translator so if you type screen translator you're going to scroll down if you scroll down you're going to come to this app you're going to see translate on screen translator okay by handy candy all right so you're going to click on it if you can see if you can see it is already installed in my phone so all you need to do is just click on the download button and then download and install it after installing it you're just going to click on open now after installation what you are going to see in your phone while it is after installation you're going to see screen translator okay that's what you're going to see so if you open it or you're looking for the app in your phone what you're going to see is screen translator and not translate on screen you're going to see screen translator so if you see that all you need to do is to open up the app if you open up the app it's going to load this way so i'm going to be showing you step by step all you need to do to set it up quickly so it's going to take you to this page the next thing you need to do is to click on continue is going to take you to this page the next thing you need to do is to click on accessibility permissions all right the next thing is to click on allow as you click on allow it's going to take you to the next page now on this next page all you need to do is to click on downloaded apps you're going to click on downloaded apps as you click on downloaded apps i don't know this the phone you're using but whatever you can follow with what i'm follow up with what i'm doing the next thing you need to do is you can see the screen translator which i told you about click on it then click on use screen translator it's going to allow you to give it permission you, it needs your permission to set uh, this up so all you need to do is to come down after the countdown you're going to click on i am aware of so you're going to check this button and then click on ok at the end of the day after it you go back all right go back and go to the screen the front page of the screen by that time everything is almost getting ready you can see here you have the um, translator icon the next thing you need to do on this page is to click on start all right you click on start is going to take you to this page where you need to set the language you are using and the language you are translating from all right so in my own case it is english whatever um, language you are using so in my own case i'm going to set here the english i wanted to translate to and by the left right hand side here i'm going to set the chinese language which i'm translating from all right so i'm going to click here check here and then click on the left one then scroll down to look for english language all right so i'm going to check on english us I'll check it and then on the next page all i need to do is to click here to check or change to the Chinese language so I click here and look for Chinese simplified I'm going to scroll up get down and look for Chinese simplified you can see it here I'll choose Chinese simplified I'll choose Chinese simplified then at this point everything is set and running but in my own case there are other settings I want to set up so that it will be more flexible for me to use all right so if you look at the translator button here you can see that it is hidden so in my own case i do some tweaks some settings in order to bring it out so i can be able to see it when translating so all i need to do is to click on the setting button here okay you can see it, see it here i'll click on it and then it opens up so all you need to do is in my own case if i get to this page i'll click on magic settings right so i'll click on magic settings that's the only settings i touch then here i'm going to touch the um, width and the height you also have the right to touch the left and the right the left and the right 
is for you to position the translator option depending on how you want it either for it to be at the left or for it to be at the right side all right so if i want it to be at the right i'm going to click on the right but let me increase the sizes so you notice what i'm doing so in my own case i normally set the width to 100 and the height to 100 this is what i mean i'm going to drag this button to 100 percent and then the height to 100 percent while i was doing it you will notice that this will increase so that it will be noticed okay to be noticeable that i have this translator all right if you drop it down it's going to diminish you not see it very well okay you can see what i'm saying now so it's very clear then for the position i normally increase it to just 35 just leave it at that just 35 and i'm fine so all these settings i'm okay with it i like it being at the left so in your own case if you want it to be at the right you can turn shift it to the right by clicking on the right button you can see clicking on the right button it has taken it to the right button so if you click on the right button here the translator starts working but i love i like it being on the left so i'll choose the left okay so at this point you are done setting up your translator so you can go back and then open up your 16 it it app and start translating so if i open my 16 it it app right now you can see I'm on the 16 it, it app, so I can now translate whatever I want to translate. So if I hover over it, you can see it has translated it to English. If I open any um, any product page here, okay, you can see I can be able to translate whatever I wish to translate. You can see it. So anything I want to translate, it will allow me to translate it. So you can see it. So. This is how you translate this a new app you can use to do your translation on 16 it's it, pindodo and any of the other chinese platforms if you found value from this video please don't forget to share this video to people that need it you can make use of the comment section to drop your concerns which i'm going to reply as soon as it comes thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye